This video series is designed for busy owners like you. It's an easy to follow emergency planning resource brought to you by the City of Los Angeles Emergency Management Department. The series is broken into three parts, preparing for safety, training your employees, and organizing for recovery. In the immediate aftermath of an emergency, it is crucial that your team work together to reduce injuries and property damage, and most importantly, save lives. The purpose of this video is to train employees on your business's specific emergency plan. All staff should watch this video together and pause when needed. It is recommended that training be done at least once a year, as well as with every new employee. If you are leading this training today, document details on the Train Employees Worksheet. All employees should also receive a blank printout of the employee worksheet to fill in. We will be going over five topics. Your communication plan building safety, survival tips for during and after an emergency, your action plan, and your individual needs. Before we begin, have everyone sign up for Notify LA, the city's emergency notification system that will help you stay informed during emergency situations. Now, as a team, decide your emergency communication plan. Knowing exactly who you should contact after an emergency helps save time and reduce confusion. If many of you work off-site, who is the contact for each team? Pick a backup number and a backup communication channel, like a company chat platform. If you work together on-site, who is the main person everyone checks in with? If you have a large team, pick a few key people. Next, everyone who works on-site or frequently visits should be shown the exit routes out of the building, your agreed-upon inside and outside meeting place, the location of your fire extinguishers, gas and water shutoff valves, and emergency kit. Fill in each item on your own worksheet. There are also basic survival tips that everyone should know during an emergency and what to do in the first two minutes to two hours after an emergency. As a group, pause now and read the survival tip section in the accompanying guide or watch our survival tips video found on the Ready LA website. The first 60 minutes after an emergency are the most crucial for reducing injuries and saving lives. In a large-scale disaster, emergency responders may not get to you for hours or days. This means you will need to rely on one another. With an action plan, everyone knows their responsibility during this crucial time. First, assess what skills you have as a group. These could include basic first aid, search and rescue, crisis counseling, electrical or organizational skills. Then, assign responsibilities to each employee. If you have a large company, group the roles into separate teams with different functions. Write these responsibilities on your worksheet. For example, Maria has decided that she will be in charge of coordination, communication, and shelter. This means that she will show everyone the exit routes, run a headcount, grab the emergency kit, and set up a space for everyone to shelter comfortably. Maria's employee, John, will be in charge of search and rescue and building safety. This means that they will turn off the water and gas valve if they smell gas, rope off any areas that appear dangerous, and help their neighbors. Search and rescue teams should always work in pairs in case of injuries. Pause this video and discuss as a team what other responsibilities there could be and assign roles. The last step is to discuss each employee's unique needs. It is recommended that everyone have a personal emergency kit at their workplace or in their business vehicle. What would help keep you personally comfortable in the event that you had to shelter in place? John has decided to keep an extra supply of medication, warm clothes, an extra phone battery pack, and some personal sanitary supplies in their kit. If you bring your pet or a service animal to work, make sure to also pack what they might need to survive for a few days. Let's wrap up with a few reminders. Disaster can happen at any time and you may have to shelter in place. Make sure to keep a printout copy of your personal employee plan with your emergency kit. Well done and great teamwork! You have now developed your business emergency plan.